Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining me right here on Actual English. I'm Jennifer Clyde. Now, so far we have been talking about topics that couples can really relate to.、Uh, so today let's focus on wedding anniversaries. Of course, wedding anniversaries—they、hmm, happen each and every year throughout life.、Uh, each and every year you spend with your significant other is, of course, very important, don't you think? So I'm curious as to know how you generally spend your wedding anniversaries.、Hmm. What about this year?、Uh, is has it has your wedding anniversary passed or is it coming up? What do you do yearly on a yearly basis? Do you just go out for dinner?、Uh, maybe go on trips or do you get gifts for your husband and wife? Of course, there are traditional ways or traditional gifts you can give each other on wedding anniversaries. There are the rather bigger ones, such as the 20th wedding anniversary, the 25th, and the 50th, and so on. But I think first wedding anniversaries are also very important. What did you exchange? What did you do on your first wedding anniversary? Well, think about that happy moment as we begin. Here is today's actual talk. Peter, you've been married for almost two years now. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were really great two、yes. years. But how did you celebrate your first wedding anniversary? Well, the first one, I think, it's awful if you forget. If it slips your mind, then you're in big trouble. That's、okay? true. You may as well not go home that day. Did you forget <laughs> it? No, no,、oh, of course、okay. not. Of course not.、Uh, so for that milestone, the first year anniversary,、uh, I took my wife to this really nice fancy restaurant that she always wanted to go to.、Oh. We'd driven past it a couple of times, and we always commented on how how great it looked. What kind of cuisine is it?、Uh, it's I guess it's European cuisine. Okay. So a bit too classy for me, but <laughs> <laughs> it was still really. Tasty, and because、uh, we already had our baby by then,、oh, I had、okay. to arrange for a babysitter and stuff like that. I planned it all in secret. Wow! And swept her off her feet and said, "We're going out tonight、You're、for our anniversary." You're such a romantic, Peter. I try my best. Wow! <laughs>、um, but、uh, you obviously have celebrated anniversaries, other anniversaries, like getting together and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you think that they're important to always make a big deal out of them? I think they are really important. Yeah. Because marriages aren't easy, <laughs> so I feel like it's a good way. To celebrate, like、uh, one more year of being married. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we did it, and also just kind of rekindling that love again and that romance again. Yeah, you know, because I cherish those moments. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because I think marriages and love—it's something that you have to constantly work on, right? Certainly, you have to put effort into it. And、yeah. I think anniversaries, birthdays, holidays—those kind of events give you the opportunity to rekindle that love and really just. Cherish one another. Yeah, because yeah. there's always going to be good times and bad times, ups and downs. But I think those days they like let you refocus on what's important. Exactly.、Know? And、uh, remember why you fell in love in the first place. That's true. Did you get her a gift? Uh, did I get her a gift? It slipped my mind. I can't remember. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe something small. Yeah, you know they have those、um, traditional gifts you're supposed to give every year. Oh really? Yeah, like the first anniversary I think is like wood. Would. Yeah, and then as you get like twenty five or fifty, they call it like the golden anniversary. Oh, I know that. And silver anniversary, and、okay. you're supposed to give them like gold and silver, but that's not till way later. All right, so would I'll get her a late present? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Now, as I did mention, today we are talking about wedding anniversaries. And Peter even mentioned in today's actual talk, he said, "The first wedding anniversary, you do not want to forget. If you do, you'll be in lots of trouble." I do agree. I mean, I'm not married yet, but I would have to say I do agree. I would be very angry if my husband forgot. But then again, I think it's not only the、uh, husband's responsibility. I think it's what the wife also has to do. We both have to work on it to please each other and to make each other happy, right? If the husband forgets, the wife can do something about it. Hopefully, you all will remember those special days. Anyhow, Peter mentioned that he's been married for almost two years now. He told us about what he did for his first wedding anniversary. Let's check it out line by line. Here we go. Now, Rachel says, Peter, you've been married for almost two years now. We're going to take a look at this pattern later on. Okay, be married for. How long? Okay, and then she asks, 
How did you celebrate your first wedding anniversary? Okay, this is just a, a fancy way of saying what did you do on your first wedding anniversary? How did you celebrate your first wedding anniversary? And Peter said, "Well, the first one, I think." It's awful if you forget. Now, if you listen very carefully, he did pause right here. Well, the first one, I think, hmm, it's awful if you forget. But of course, if you were to make a complete sentence, the it's should be is, such as the first one, I think, is awful if you forget. Any other point is, it's awful if you forget. Do not forget these special days," he says. Now, if it slips your mind, then you're in big trouble. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the sentence. If it slips your mind, if something slips your mind, what does it mean? If you don't know what it means, try to imagine there is an object and it slips your mind. It slips your mind. It means you forget about something. Okay. If it slips your mind, in other words, if you forget, then you're in big trouble. Okay. Now Rachel says, "Did you forget it? Did you forget it?" Meaning your first wedding anniversary. He said, "No, of course not." So for that milestone, our first year anniversary. I took my wife to this really nice, fancy restaurant that she always wanted to go to. Well, it's a long sentence. Let's break it up to help you understand that one. So he says, for that milestone, okay, he's referring to his wedding anniversary, the first year anniversary. A milestone is perhaps a very important stage in life. It also means a very important event in life as well. So perhaps. A special anniversary, such as a first-year wedding anniversary, could be referred to as a milestone. He says, "For our first-year anniversary, I took my wife to this really nice, fancy restaurant." We all know what a fancy restaurant it is, right? It's not just any casual restaurant. Fancy restaurants are rather a bit expensive. They、uh, are nicely decorated, perhaps.、Uh, they are,、uh, I guess.、Hmm, they usually, I think, do tend to have more delicious food or or meticulously prepared, carefully prepared food. Anyhow, he took his wife to a nice restaurant that she always wanted to go to. Okay, it was one of her favorite restaurants. He says we've driven past it, meaning the restaurant, a couple of times. And we've always commented on how great it looks. Comment on something means to talk about something, to say something about a person or a thing. So he's saying we have always talked about, commented on how great it looks. Now Rachel asks; she's curious, so she says, "What kind of cuisine is it?" Now, a cuisine is not a restaurant. Cuisine simply means food, carefully prepared food. We're not talking about snack foods、uh, from like fast food restaurants or punsikjam in Korean. We're talking about really, really good food. That's why we often say international cuisine. Those are the dishes. Not simply made food, but really carefully made dishes.、Um, a Korean cuisine, I would have to say, there are lots, but kalbitim is a Korean cuisine. Yeah, it's not made in a minute or two or five minutes. Yes, it takes time to prepare the meal, so it would be called a cuisine. Okay. So she asks, what kind of cuisine is it? What kind of food do they serve? And he says, I guess it's European cuisine. It's European cuisine, meaning it's European food. So a bit too classy for me, but it was really tasty. That's the point. He says, Ah,、oh, it was really tasty, because we already had our baby by then. Mm, by then, he was already a father, and his wife was already a mother. And he said, "I had to arrange for a babysitter." Let's take a look at that. A babysitter is what? 
A person that makes a baby sit? No, it's close. But a babysitter is someone who takes care of a baby. For example, if a couple with a baby, they have plans for perhaps、um, a nice romantic dinner, and they can't take the baby with them, they will often ask someone to come and take care of the baby while they are out. Of course, they usually pay a certain amount of money. Okay, so babysitters usually take care of babies. They can get paid. Sometimes they'll do it for you、uh, free. That is, if they're family, maybe. Anyhow, so they had a baby, so they had to call a babysitter. Look for a babysitter or arrange for a babysitter to come by. I planned it all in secret. Plan something in secret means that it was a secret. He planned it secretly and swept her off her feet.、Hmm. If someone sweeps you off your feet, ah, it means that they just took you by surprise. It's just a great feeling. She was surprised in a wonderful way. She was very, very happy. She was touched emotionally, so she was very happy. And then he said, "We're going out tonight for our anniversary." Okay, so basically. He made preparations for things in secret. He planned everything and said to his wife, "Honey, we're going out tonight for our anniversary." And he took her out to her favorite restaurant. Now Rachel says, "Ah,、oh, you're such a romantic, Peter. A romantic. A romantic is another way of saying you are a romantic person. You can leave the person out and say you're a romantic." A romantic means a romantic person. He says, "I try my best," meaning I try my best to be a romantic or a romantic person. You've obviously celebrated anniversaries, and he says, "Do you think it is important to always make a big deal out of them? Make a big deal out of them, meaning wedding anniversaries. Make a big deal of something means to really put a lot of importance to it. Okay, so is it important to put a lot of stress on it, a lot of importance on it? Is it important to always make a big deal out of wedding anniversaries? Rachel says, I think they are really important because marriages aren't easy. Okay. You can also say marriage isn't easy, so I feel like it's a good way to celebrate one more year of being married. And then she says to cherish those moments. Cherish means to really value something, to really, really value something. In a, I guess.、Uh, Think of something or consider something to be very important. Okay, so if something or someone is very important to you and you value him or her or it a lot, you can say that you cherish it very much. Okay, okay, let's move on.、Uh, Rachel says exactly because I think marriage and love is something you have to constantly work on. Yeah, a lot of effort goes into it, and she says you have to put. Effort into it. You have to work on it, and I think anniversaries or even birthdays, holidays, those kinds of events give you the opportunity to rekindle that love. Okay. So these are events, special occasions that give you the opportunity to rekindle. She says, rekindle is another word for renew, right? Add some life to something. So, oftentimes, married couples, for example, you're with each other every single day for years and years. That、um, some people don't even enjoy being with each other. Sometimes they say that their husband or wife is like family. It's true, but like sister and brother. So it's kind of important to make that opportunity to kind of renew things, to rekindle that love, and cherish one another. Is that word once again? And then Peter says, because there is always going to be good times and bad times, and ups and downs. Good times, bad times, ups and downs all mean the same thing. Ups are the good times, and the downs are the bad times. But I think those days let you refocus. Re meaning again, 
focus again. Think again about what's important and remember why you fell in love. Now Rachel moves on to the gift question. She says, "That's true. Did you get her a gift?" And he said, "It slipped my mind." Remember, we saw that expression slip one's mind in the beginning. Now, hmm, what does that mean? Slip one's mind means to forget, right? Forget about it. And he says, "Oh, it slipped my mind. I don't think so. I don't think I got her a gift." And then Rachel says, "You know, they have those traditional gifts you're supposed to give every year." Yeah, they're very different. I actually checked it out, and say, for example, for the first wedding anniversary, you're supposed to give、um, paper.、Uh, for the tenth anniversary, it's something else. For the twentieth anniversary, it's platinum, and it goes on and on and on. I've actually listed a thing,、uh, list, listed the number of items that usually people give on wedding anniversaries. You can check that out on her script. Anyhow, she says the first anniversary. She says, "I think is wood."、Uh, well, Rachel, I would have to say I looked it up, and I may be wrong as well. But they said for first anniversaries,、uh, it's supposed to be paper. So anything made of paper, such as pictures, even notebooks, or a handwritten letter, like a love letter, those are some things you can give on a first anniversary. She says, and twenty fifth and fiftieth. Are called the golden anniversary and silver anniversary. That's right. I believe the twentieth anniversary、uh, is platinum. The twenty-fifth is silver anniversary, and the fiftieth is golden anniversary. It's true. And she says you're supposed to give them gold and silver. That's true. Anything made of gold and silver. But that's not till way later. Way later meaning later in the future. Anyhow, Peter says, "All right, I'll get her a late present." Meaning, although、uh, it's past our wedding anniversary, I might as well get her something now. Better late than never, right? Okay, I guess that about does it for today's actual talk. Take a listen to it one more time. Peter, you've been married for almost two years now. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were really great two、yes. years. But how did you celebrate your first wedding anniversary? Well, the first one, I think, it's awful if you forget. If it slips your mind, then you're in big trouble. That's、okay? true. You may as well not go home that day. Did you forget <laughs> it? No, no,、oh, of course、okay. not. Of course not.、Uh, so for that milestone, the first year anniversary,、uh, I took my wife to this really nice fancy restaurant that she always wanted to go to. We'd、oh. driven past it a couple of times, and we always commented on how how great it looked. What kind of cuisine is it?、Uh, it's I guess it's European cuisine. Okay. So a bit too classy for me, but <laughs> <laughs> it was still really. Really tasty, and because、uh, we already had our baby by then,、oh, I had to、okay. arrange for a babysitter and stuff like that. I planned it all in secret. Wow! And swept her off her feet and said, "We're going out tonight、You're、for our anniversary." You're such a romantic, Peter. I tried my best. Wow! <laughs>、um, but、uh, you obviously have celebrated anniversaries, other anniversaries, like getting together and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you think they're important to always make a big deal out of them? I think they are really important. Yeah. Because marriages aren't easy, <laughs> so I feel like it's a good way. To celebrate, like、uh, one more year of being married, <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we did it, and also just kind of rekindling that love again and that romance again. Yeah, you know, because I cherish those moments. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because I think marriages and love—it's something that you have to constantly work on, right? Certainly, you have to put effort into it. And、yeah. I think anniversaries, birthdays, holidays—those kind of events give you the opportunity to rekindle that love and really just. Cherish one another. Yeah, because yeah. there's always going to be good times and bad times, ups and downs. But I think those days they like let you refocus on what's important. Exactly.、Know? And、uh, remember why you fell in love in the first place. That's true. Did you get her a gift? Uh, did I get her a gift? It slipped my mind. I can't remember. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe something small. Yeah, you know they have those、um, traditional gifts you're supposed to give every year. Oh really? Yeah, like the first anniversary I think is like wood. Wood. Yeah, and then as you get like twenty five or fifty, they call it like the golden anniversary. Oh, I know that. And silver anniversary, and、okay. you're supposed to give them like gold and silver, but that's not till way later. All right, so wood, I'll get her a late present. <laughs> All right, everyone. Here we go with some vocab words and idioms, just to make sure you understand and remember some of the words 
we checked out in today's actual talk, let's think of this as kind of a review, okay? Today we saw the word milestone as Peter was talking about the first year wedding anniversary or his first year wedding anniversary. Milestone. The stress goes on the first syllable, but keep in mind, it means anniversary, it can also mean event. These are just synonyms, but a milestone, as I did mention earlier, is a very important time in life or a very significant event, such as a wedding anniversary. Okay. What about cuisine? Just to make sure you got the correct pronunciation, it is cuisine. Cuisine. Korean cuisine, European cuisine, French cuisine, and so on. Now, rekindle. Stress goes right here. And as I mentioned, it means to renew something, add some life to something, okay? And also ups and downs. Um, they were talking about the good times and the bad times. This is another way of saying that. See, it's a synonym. Good and bad times. Ups and downs. Ups and downs. Good and bad times, what about ebb and flow is also a synonym, ebb and flow, or peaks and valleys. These are just other ways you can say ups and downs are good times and bad times. Okay, let's move on, check out some patterns for today. Now, as we are talking about wedding anniversaries, you can make use of these patterns. So if you want to talk about how long you have been married for, you can say be married for plus the time duration or for how long you have been married, okay? Here we go. I've been married for four years now. One more time. I've been married for four years now. I've been married for two years now. Another sample sentence is, we've been married for almost eight years now, okay? This is if you want to mention you and your wife or, of course, you and your husband. In the first sentence, you are talking about just you. I've been married for how long? But, for example, you can say my wife and I or my husband and I have been married for two years. You can say we've been married for almost eight years now. Another pattern. For some kind of occasion, I took somebody to... A certain place okay this may look a bit confusing so here is a sentence to help you understand better now for our first year anniversary I took my wife where to her favorite restaurant it's quite easy it's not too complicated here we go with another one for my mother's birthday I took her to Jeju Island Okay, so the occasion is my mother's birthday. I took her to Jeju Island. It's not too complicated. Just practice on your own. And here we go with go out for our last pattern. Go out for something, okay? You can say I'm going out tonight for a celebration. I'm going out tonight for a celebration. What about this one? She went out. We're talking about the past now. She went out for her friend's birthday. Go out for something or go out to do something as well. You can also say, I'm going to go out or I'm going out to celebrate. But make use of this pattern and say, I'm going out tonight for a celebration. That about wraps it up, everyone. Good job. Wedding anniversary. So my parents have been married for 20 some years now. They actually used to do a lot more on their wedding anniversaries, but nowadays they don't do that much. I think it's because they're older and they're both working. But I remember a long time ago what they used to do, used to do was uh, they usually, my dad would usually come home with a bouquet of roses. My mom likes red roses and she's really a flower person. So he would bring her flowers and usually he would uh, reserve a uh, reservation at a restaurant. Her favorite restaurant is called Ruth's Chris. It's a very famous steakhouse in America. And so he would always reserve that place and they would just have dinner, just them two, you know, get away from all their busy schedules, get away from their kids. They have three kids. So I think they just wanted a rest from that. 
Um, you know, and my other friends, their parents, um, they go on trips a lot. A lot of them go to like Mexico and just like enjoy the beaches for a weekend. So yeah, I mean, I think I would just want to do a dinner or something like with my parents as well. Wow, and that was Sarah once again. Thank you for sharing your story. I wonder how many of your parents are like Sarah's parents. I think that her father is a very romantic guy. He is all romantic. Uh, he sounds like a very sweet husband. He makes sure that his wife, of course, Sarah's mother, gets flowers on their wedding anniversaries, and he takes her out. Just make sure that she has a good time. Now, Sarah did mention that her parents both work, so they're quite busy. A lot of their friends actually go on trips for their wedding anniversaries. Now, I've chosen four sentences from her actual uh, story, so let's check it out. My parents have been married for. See, we've got the pattern here. My parents have been married for 20 some years now. But let's take a look at this. 20? No, 20 some years now. 20 some means around 20, about 20. So try saying, uh, well, 20 some years, 30 some years. You wouldn't say 18 some years, 19 some years, but around 20, 30, 40. If you want to say almost 20 years, around 30 years, try saying 20 some years, 30 some years, okay? They have been married for a long time. And here is one last sentence. Now she's moving on to talking about her, uh, her friend's parents, okay? My friend's parents go on trips a lot. A lot of them go to Mexico, and what do they do? Enjoy the beaches for a weekend. Or for the weekend is another way to say that. Mm. So now she's ending her actual story with some information about not only her parents, but her friend's parents, what they normally do where they normally go, okay? So that is a great actual story. And thanks to Sarah once again. Hope you enjoyed it as well, everyone. That is a wrap. Wedding anniversary. So my parents have been married for 20 some years now. They actually used to do a lot more on their wedding anniversaries, but nowadays they don't do that much. I think it's because they're older and they're both working. But I remember a long time ago what they used to do, used to do was uh, they usually, my dad would usually come home with a bouquet of roses. My mom likes red roses and she's really a flower person. So he would bring her flowers and usually he would uh, reserve a reservation at a restaurant. Her favorite restaurant is called Ruth's Chris. It's a very famous steakhouse in America. And so he would always reserve that place and they would just have dinner, just them two, you know, get away from all their busy schedules, get away from their kids. They have three kids, so I think they just wanted a rest from that. Um, you know, and my other friends, their parents, um, they go on trips a lot. A lot of them go to like Mexico and just like enjoy the beaches for a weekend. So yeah, I mean, I think I would just want to do a dinner or something like with my parents as well. Now today we talked about wedding anniversaries and as I did mention earlier, uh, I have included a long list of, uh, I guess, wedding anniversary gift ideas on our homepage. Check out a script for today and there's going to be a long list. Some traditional gift ideas and some more modern gift ideas. And uh, for some extra information, as I did mention, the 20th wedding anniversary is called the Platinum Year, the Platinum. So Platinum and even China are perhaps the best gifts for your 20th anniversary. Check it out and the next time somebody asks you, hmm, what should I get for my wife or my husband on our anniversary? Give them some ideas. Okay, that is a wrap for today, everyone. Next time, I'll join you back and let's talk about first birthday parties. They're really big in Korea, right? So we'll be talking about Dol in Korea the next time. In the meantime, as I did mention, come to our homepage. Find your way over to www.ebse.co.kr. Look for actual English. Check out the list on our script or even just come by to say hello. Okay, everyone, I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.